Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. We're headed to a new location today. We got that cell phone a few episodes ago from the Mere Slug, and we're going to be checking out the beautiful Pacific Northwest, also known as South America. We got most of the fruit from the tropical wilds, and we don't really have anything we can do there for now. So instead, let's go on a little vacay. Viva la South America. See what's going on down in the Rio Grande, perhaps? Or oh, that's not where that is. Rio de Janeiro? Uh, those are completely different places. I goofed that up. Ignore me. My geography skills are not on point. So now that we've touched down in the Twilight River, let's see what we've got going on. Sounds like Charlie's got a nose for adventure. I think, without a doubt, Britney's Britney's lines in this game in general are, are definitely my favorite. It's just they did such a good job writing her. I just wish there was more uniqueness with what they gave her to say. Unfortunately, it just kind of gets a little redundant with what's going on and that's that's just kind of unfortunate all right so first things first you're gonna notice when you stop by in the twilight river is there's this weird little kind of pink laffy taffy looking thing hanging out not anything we can do with that just yet unfortunately and it looks like we're gonna have to build a bridge now uh here's another kind of fun thing this is the something glint something beetle i think if we could lock onto him properly. If you if you hit him enough times with your pigments, you gotta you gotta hit you get the land on him. There you go. He's like a little a little grab bag of all kinds of fun things. So yeah, uh, murder him, and then uh, yeah, steal his lunch money. So that's fun, right? Yeah. We'll send our reds out there because they're the ones that were. Oddly enough, the shortest on, so we'll propagate some reds while we're here. Now, I wouldn't say necessarily that I need reds, but, you know, I don't want them to feel left out. I want them to think I don't need them. Now, it looks like we've got something stuck in a web. It seems like a bit of a sticky situation. Looks like another onion, but I don't think we've ever seen an onion of that color before. That's strange. Well, it appears that Alf has decided that we will do our heroic duties and go and save the pink onion. In the meantime, we are going to kill this bulborb. These are dwarf bulborbs. And now we have the satisfaction of murder and a new mode of transportation. These are the lily pads, if you couldn't already tell. I actually don't know if anybody that's like blind is watching my let's play, but if you are, I think that's a, that's awesome. And you know, don't let your, don't let something like that hold you back. So I will hopefully be able to describe things to the visually impaired to be able to see that. I'm gonna send our yellows off here, have them take out that electric gate. And we're gonna let our rock Pikmin wait for a ride. We're going to go up and around here. We're going to bring it around town. And we are going to take out this jerk over here. This is the Puffy Blowhog. Now, I'm going to tell you in advance, the Puffy Blowhog is known for, I guess, there's not really a better way to say this, but um, deflowering your Pikmin. So the Puffy Blowhog, when it interacts with your Pikmin, what it will do is... It'll blow its stinky poop breath at you, and your Pikmin that were once flowered will go down to just being leaves. So that's kind of annoying. It's a bit of an inconvenience, but you know, it is what it is. It's not a huge deal. You can take them out pretty easily. We'll grab some bomb rocks here while we're moving all around. There's another one of those weird pink lollipop looking things. And now that we have those bomb rocks, we can blow up that wall here. First things first, though, there is a 
another type of a joust might here that we're gonna pick out of the round and we're gonna nope we're gonna yep we're just gonna send all of our pikmin after it that was easy this one has wings though so i'm not entirely sure what it is i'm assuming it's you know a similar species i i believe but hey it doesn't matter because it's dead he gone he bye bye and one last rock here should blow up the wall and that will give us safe passage going forward to bring more of the bridge pieces. I have a really bad tendency to call them puzzle pieces for some reason. I don't know. That's just kind of how they look to me, I guess. All right. So now that that is done, we took down that gate over there. And as you can see, there's more puzzle pieces. <laughs> see, there we go. More bridge pieces over to the right behind the electrical gate. There's a couple Wallywogs over there, too, that we will have to dispatch first because we don't want them squish in our Pikmin's. That would not be cool. And our rock Pikmin deposited the bridge pieces that we already had. So they do have autonomy in this game that when you send them out to do a specific task, in this case, the bridge pieces, they will be able to go forward and attack them, attack them, move them in one area. So we're going to lure this Wallywog out of the water. Come on, boy. I would like you to join us on land. Yes. Thank you. And now we will murder him. Yes. Okay. Great. Without drowning. And over here, excuse me. So you're going to want to go ahead and get your rock Pikmin going. Throw five or six of them up there. You don't really need a ton. And then make sure that you go back a little bit because you don't want to accidentally drown your Pikmin. And with one of your lead... No. Excuse you. No. What is happening? Oh, my Pikmin are trying to get spicy berries. Once again, did not tell them to do that. Disobeying orders. All right. So anyway, go ahead and grab your rock Pikmin and have them smash down this crystal. They will use their cute little bonkin' heads and they will carry it for you. Now what's convenient is that rock Pikmin are programmed to not go in the water. So if they have a safe passage out of harm's way, they will take that instead, which is really convenient. And what's over on the other side, we'll use Alf to do this for now. I actually didn't want to take the yellows, so I will whistle the yellows off and just use the rocks and have our rock pigment carry all the, of course, I'm one short. Oh, goodness. All right, hold on a second. Just you, well, you know what? I have the yellows here. I'll just use a yellow to carry that bridge piece and then they can all reconvene eventually. So the yellows are the ones that we're gonna wanna take on this upcoming quest here. We recovered the mango steam. We've got 30 fruit because we are epic. Yeah. And we've got a little cave here to explore. I don't know if I need any of the rock Pikmin to do this because I forget what's ahead of me because I'm doing great. Apparently our Pikmin want to carry spicy berries and all that nonsense, so I will let them. Um, I'm not being very practical in how I'm handling my time. So once those rock Pikmin come back, hopefully I can cut them off at the pass and... There they come. All right, rock Pikmin. I just think it's kind of cute. You have a little army of rock Pikmin that are just waiting for you. They're floating on this lily pad, all at attention. Yes, all right. Gentle sirs and ladies. Let's go ahead and continue on. There's a little cave here. We'll explore and see what we've got. It sure is dark. You better be careful where you step. Well, you got the right attitude, Alf. So we are gonna go on in here. And if you can see, there's a circuit that needs to be completed. You need at least 20 yellows. And that we do have. I think that actually might be the exact amount that I had. So that's, you know, not ideal, but hey, that's fine. I guess correctly. Because that's how you should play Pikmin, is just guessing, right? Okay. So whistle your yellows back. Get everybody on your squad together. Watch out for these little weird tadpole things. They're kind of gross. They will impede your progress. Instead, we're going to have... I guess everybody we have left. I mean, Rock Pikmin either. It doesn't matter. Just grab the puzzle pieces. The bridge pieces. Honestly, you could make a compilation of me just saying puzzle pieces over and over and over again. I'm probably never going to stop. And while they're skadoodling out of the way, we're just going to 
kind of check things out. I remember there is actually a pretty nasty enemy in this cave. So thankfully we are just taking a preliminary visit to this cave for now. We don't have any intentions of actually doing anything major. So that should be the last amount of the puzzle pieces, bridge pieces. Oh my goodness. It's like, um, it, I don't know what like the word is, but it's like, uh, there's something I remember where it's like once you see something and it gets kind of stuck in your brain that you wind up seeing it everywhere. I think it's called like the Streisand effect. You know, one, one experience of seeing a certain phrase or a word and then literally everything that you see turns out to be that. So we've got our Pikmin over there that are about to jump on the lily pad to go around. I don't want them to do that, but I can't stop them because I'm not going to be around quick enough. So I believe they're actually going to stop here and then they will come around. This is kind of the, yes, this is kind of the stopping point for our Pikmins. So we'll head back because we can now take that bridge. It's done. I don't, I believe it's done. I mean, it didn't give me the little, hey, ding dong, it's done kind of thing, but it looks done. It's flat. So that should allow us to go and approach that pink onion. There's red onions. I don't know if they're like in real life, IRL, if there are like pink onions. I don't know if that's a thing. Could be interesting though. Maybe there is. If there is, then let me know. I would love to try one. But first things first, we got a data file. What is this? It says the arachnode. Call Pikmin trapped in the web with the whistle to save them. All right. So we've got plenty of these lollipop things hanging around. And then we got plenty of Pikmin here trapped in the web. We try to kill this weird spider thing. Oh, he is killing our Pikmin. But we have killed it in return. And we have freed the pink onion. Okay. Um, it appears as though that looks like curiously like a Pikmin seed. Huh. Well, let's give it a uh, give it a pluck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Winged Pikmin. Some of the most cute Pikmin in the entire world. If you thought Rock Pikmin were cute, Winged Pikmin might just do it for you. These Pikmin have the ability to fly, as you can tell. You're like, wow, no duh. Now, first things first, we're going to want to use our winged Pikmin to propagate other Pikmin of its same ilk. Only pink Pikmin have the capacity to pull up these weird, I don't even, I don't know what these are, the lollipop things. Only they can do it. So he'll use its little strength. We'll try to... Actually, I can't... Well, I can't... Pl ah, well... Oh, I can because the pink onion is here. Yeah, so in this specific instance, like, you can have more than 100 Pikmin just because the pink onion is here, but it's not going to spit any more out for us. So there you go. You actually don't want to have this many of my other kinds of Pikmin because I want to make a bunch of the pink ones today. So here we go again, not planning ahead. As per usual, we're doing great. But for the most part today, we've kind of taken care of the majority of what we'd like to do, but we want to make more pinks. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and deposit a few of the other kinds. Sorry, yellows, you got munched on. So that's very good. We want to make more of the pink Pikmin. That's kind of where we're at. We'll use our time today to go and propagate more pinks. Now, these little lollipop things, they don't always necessarily... Oh, I don't have five. They don't always necessarily have... Like, no, not rock Pikmin. They don't always necessarily have tabs in them or whatnot. They could sometimes, I think, have enemies and nectar and whatnot. It just kind of depends. Yeah, so... Oh, that's not even nectar. That's, uh, that's actually a spicy spray, which if you run your captain into it, it just gives you a full spicy spray which is super cool. All right, so I think we should be able to take the Arachnode and get some pink Pikmin that way while we very slowly carry its corpse out. So pink pink Pikmin, flying Pikmin, whatever you want to call them. I'm probably going to refer to them as pink just because of the color. Um, they are able to fly so they can cross certain gaps that your other Pikmin cannot. 
they will be able to go over water. Not in water, per se. Like, they can fly over the water, but they're, they don't have the... You know, you don't have to worry about them drowning or anything like that, which is kind of nice. Then you'll also have to uh, be mindful of the fact that Pink Pikmin are pretty weak. So they're not your fighters. They're not going to be your guys, you know, doing a lot of damage, etc. You'll just have to be very careful about that. I wouldn't use them with the expectation that they're going to be able to win you a battle or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. I mean, the only battle they're going to win is battle for cutest Pikmin. I mean, come on, look at them. Jeez. They are super adorable. Like, and I mean, what's the point of playing Pikmin if you're not going to enjoy how, how adorable things are? They are great. And there's plenty of these little, like, uh, little doodads hanging around, too. So you can pluck as many of those as you want to. Propagate your Pikmin. It does take them a bit of time to get these kind of sprouts out of the ground. I don't know if that's exactly what they are. They're kind of gross looking to me. It almost feels like they're pulling a zit. But that's a fruit. I totally forgot that that was there. So, hey, there's a fruit there, everybody. And there's this stick that's in the way. We're going to want to get that out of the way because that will allow our pink Pikmin, once we have 10, because we don't now, because we miss... We, we underestimated how many we'd need to finish this up. But they can move that stick out of the way and give a safe passage to another part. There's grubs here. Our pink Pikmin, that's that's enemies that they can handle for sure. But in general, it's kind of tough because they're not super good at fighting. Whereas like your red your red Pikmin are your fighters. Um, your pink one's not so much. Now there are instances specifically where you will want to use your pink Pikmin to, to fight actually because they have to be the ones like you'll see that later on there are aerial enemies that you'll need to use your pinks for but you know in general and just be careful when you're locking onto stuff you don't want to charge a bunch of your rocks reds yellows into that area and then wind up getting everybody killed so use your pinks they'll pull that laffy taffy off of that tree trunk and then huzzah we've got more places to go and we're getting a call this is a little cryptic wonder who this could be from huh i don't know if we know who this is but it seems like it's a cry for help and somebody who knows captain olimar wonder if this is somebody else from hokatate says he's on top of a giant tree with some sort of a creature there that's causing him harm Hopefully we can help him out. Uh oh. You hear that buzzing? That sounds pretty scary. I'm actually pretty afraid of bees, so... No gracias. But yeah, that was pretty hard to understand. But this guy knows Captain Elmar, so maybe he can help us find him. That sounds pretty good, right? Now, Alf thinks that is Captain Elmar. So we're going to want to try to follow that signal and see if maybe that is Captain Olimar. Maybe it is. Okay, so now that that's out of the, out of the area, we're going to go ahead and pluck the remaining of the pinks that we've got here. Oh, we're not going to throw them. That's not necessary. Thank you. All right, so now what you can do, one of the additional things is like I was mentioning... Excuse you. One of the things that I was mentioning before is you can whistle off your Pikmin. Oh, hey, 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 what's going on here? Oh, that wasn't cool. All right, well... I did not see that that skittering jerk bug was killing my red Pikmin. That was incredibly rude. We can send our pinks here to pull up this. I still, I don't know, that, whatever it is, it's just kind of gross. Like, it creeps me out a little bit. And I wish it didn't, it wasn't so difficult to try to get them to pull it up out of the ground. Oh, it's another tab, that's good. We'll use the ones that we have to go do that. I would like to have not red Pikmin. I would just, no. Ah, this is one of the things that the game does that's kind of annoying is that it's hard to kind of split your team up in the way that you need to. Like if you just whistle incorrectly a little bit, the game's like, hey, did you mean everybody? So we've got a little bit of time here. We're gonna pluck all of the remaining pinks. We'll go back over there and we'll 
gather them. So flying slash pink Pikmin can fly over water, which is really nice. Yeah, that's great. So now we can charge them at this pellet. They can collectively work together to bring it back to the the pink onion. It would be nice if I actually <laughs> sent them instead of trying to... Hey, Brittany, can you carry this pink pellet back for me? That'd be awesome. All right, great. Also, I love the sound that they make when they're carrying stuff back. It's very cute. Yeah, I'm never going to get tired of saying that. So hopefully you don't mind me gushing about how cute pink Pikmin are, because it ain't going to stop. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and whistle everybody back. And it creates its own safety circle, so you don't have to worry about any sort of Pikmin getting left behind or anything like that. We're just going to make sure we have everybody. Are we missing? Hold on a second. Let's check inside the pink onion. Okay, we're doing good. we got 24 of those. It doesn't say we're missing any Pikmin. I wonder if there's some of the original onion. Ten sprouts, perhaps. Oh, no, there's just these guys that are inside our own safety circle. Yeah, we're good. Oh, there were some pinks here. Okay. Looks like the pinks picked up the bomb rock. It's kind of cute, too. They're just kind of fairing it around. Yeah, that's 100% ready. There's not really anything else left for us to do today. So as the countdown approaches, we'll just hang out for a second. I think it's more fun to let it count down. I know for some people it gives them anxiety. It does give me anxiety a little bit too. We'll eat this nectar while we're at it. We'll send our pinks at it. See if they would enjoy some nectar. Come on, guys, get it. Go on, get it. All right, they apparently don't want it. That's fine, but we've got everybody safe and sound, so we can just go ahead and end our day. So that is that. No snacks for the bull borbs, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. No munchies for y'all. But yeah, pretty successful day. We got two fruit today. We opened up a passageway. We built a bridge. Lit up a cave. Found the pink onion with the pink Pikmin. Flying Pikmin. And it will now be able to assimilate. That's for... Uh, that's four onions all in one, and now it's just kind of this massive, weird mishmash of colors. Pretty great, though. We got a plum in. We got a mango steen. I think there's three mango steens here, which is kind of interesting. I didn't... Like, for a fruit that I've never heard of before, the fact that they're present in this game three times is kind of interesting. So I think that's kind of cool to become more familiar with it. And then there's the, the lesser mock bottom, the big old butt. That's a plum, baby. Time to enjoy some plum juice. I think it's interesting too, I was reading this the other day, is like certain fruits have dried versions of themselves like grapes or raisins. You know, plums have prunes and stuff like that. If you guys have any ex other examples like that, let me know. I think that's kind of interesting that some dried fruits are just dried whatever. Like a dried peach is just a dried peach, right? It doesn't have a different name. Pretty cool. But yeah, that gets us another vial of juice and a complete day 14. We had a Small amount of casuals today, casualties today, unfortunately. But uh, we made up for it by propagating some more reds. We've got 30 pinks now. 200 yellows, I didn't even know that. But yeah, we're just going to keep at it and truck along. We've got another entry for Alf, so let's go ahead and see what he's got to say. We've made contact with the mysterious Captain Olimar, or so he thinks. This is the Hokotation, who we believe has been providing us with the data memos. It looks like he's in danger, though. If something happens, then we may lose our cosmic drive key for good. Time to call in the Kopai Cavalry. Signed, Alf. Yes. So it appears as though this Captain Olimar fellow is in the Twilight River somewhere, so we're going to have to go and see if we can rescue him. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and save and call it a day. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you next time. Bye.